Femi Fani Kayode reacts to Malami call for northern governors to ban trading of spare parts in the north. Can you imagine the sides that these people are taking without adequately thinking and reasoning? Abubakar Malami is fighting governors of the south saying that they cannot, I repeat, cannot stop Fulani headsmen from open grazing in the south. Whether they like it or not, they have to. Excuse me, life has moved on. Whether you like it or not, Nigeria is not one of the countries with the highest population of cows being roamed about by nomadics. The uh, advanced country we are, because we are a developing country, yes, and we are looking forward to, you know, becoming developed. So the advanced countries that are developed, they have even more cows. Please go to Google, look at countries with most cows. You will discover that it's even the advanced countries. Yet you don't see a single one. If you go to the abattoir or you go to the market to buy, you even see the meat well packaged already. How come in Nigeria we cannot replicate such? As we are planning to become a developed country, you can see the sentiment. They don't mind whether the Fulani headsmen kill people, whether they, they kidnap people or anything being done. Femi Fane Kayode is saying this as an general is actually sick. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Femi Fane Kayode reacts to Malami's call for northern governors to ban trading of spare parts in the north. Yesterday, the Attorney General of the Federation, Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, was interviewed one-on-one -on, -one on China's TV political and current affair program, Politics Today. During that interview, Malami gave an example of the Northern Governors banning trading of spare parts in the North to oppose decision of the Southern Governors to ban open grazing in the South. Some Nigerians have been reacting to the example cited by Malami. One of them is the former Minister of Aviation in Nigeria, Chief Femi Fani Kayode. According to the statement he made on his official verified Twitter handle, FFK said, it is a bit, it, it beats my imagination that the Attorney General of the Federation can compare killer headsmen to law-abiding spare parts dealers who are within their shops dealing in their business, orderly, not opposing or antagonizing anybody. The ascertainment of the Attorney General that there is no restriction until government develop power to the local government is unimaginable, self-serving and unsustainable. As long as Nigeria claim to be a federal power must be developed from the central of the federation unit. This is preposterous. How can the Fed how can the Attorney General of the Federation, how can you compare killer headsmen to law-abiding spare part dealers? It beats my imagination. The form the former are bloodthirsty terrorists who are nothing but offenders who should be dealt with being in prison but by now, but and and you know, destroying lives and properties taking life away from peaceful, loving men and women that are living their lives, ab abiding by the rules and regulation of the land. He said that the former is a terrorist who killed innocent people. Why the latter are peace-loving men and women who provide virtual service? He went further to state that the, ass the ascertainment of the Attorney General of the Federation cannot be, re cannot be compared until state governors ensure autonomy, autonomy of the local government area is not a, a sustainable decision. Can Cambridge alumni said that such as long as Nigeria continue to claim to be a federation, power must be diverged from the central of the federation. Units. Many Nigerians who believe that restructuring the country is the way to go, but the, fed but the federal government continue to insist that the state government must, be, must begin from the process of state. How can this be? State government with local government, we don't understand what exactly is going on in this country. The Attorney General of the Federation speaks as a representative of the North not a representative of the federal government or a representative of Nigerians. He speaks for the Fulani. He speaks from the tribe which he belongs. This is the clear indication of what he's saying. Others are saying it is the cabal. 
This is the decision they've taken. And Islamizing Nigeria will not be possible without Fulani headsmen infiltrating into the areas, other people's area, killing of Nigerians, committing atrocities, and allowing to be gone scot free. There is so much madness in Nigeria, I can tell you. There is so much madness. So much madness going on, and nobody's paying attention to say this is not right. In any way, form, or kind, this is not right. I mean, it's clearly stated that the Attorney General of the Federation is not, um, is not uh, whether it, it, it's, it, it's clear that he's speaking as a representative of Fulani headsmen, who is representing the North in this regard. He's not representing Nigerians, I beg your pardon. He's not representing the people. He's representing his, his people from his uh, tribe. He's representing his tribal men, yes. He's representing those who are from his own vicissitudes. And he's not representing the internal or entire interest of Nigerians. It, this is a, this is a clear indications of what is currently on ground. Nigeria cannot continue to have a government where there are sentiments, where there are people who do not, you know, believe that the country can be free. We are talking about, you know, the way he said it, as though the headsmen did not touch or offend anybody or do anything to anybody, they are picking on them. That's the way he sounds. If he does not know, he needs to be reminded. That he sounds as though, I mean, he's part of them anyway. He has sent these headsmen to go ahead, kill people, take away their livelihood, and pretend like all is well. That's the exact way the Attorney General of the Federation has sounded. So you can see why Nigeria is what it is today. The whole of the North has not rested, has been bubbling because the Southern Governor says no open grazing. We don't want them roaming about on our streets. The other day we reported to you how there was protest along Ibadan, Lagos Expressway, because some herders allowed their cattle to roam stray uh, free, which ran into the highway and it was hit by uh, several of them were hit by trailers. Some died, some blocked the highway. For hours, the road was blocked. I mean, hours. So I don't understand where we are going in a hurry. If there cannot be true truth in this nation, truth is relative because their truth is not your truth. I can assure you. I can tell you 300% that the North think differently from other parts of the country. Leave us a comment. We would like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.